Now, 50 years ago, at the height of the US civil rights movement, a leading cartoonist made a small but significant contribution to racial equality. Charles Schultz introduced his first black character, Franklin, in the famous and hugely popular Peanuts newspaper strip. Modern cartoonist Kerry G. Johnson looks back at the legacy of Franklin. My name is Kerry Johnson. I'm a professional caricaturist and cartoonist. As a kid, I really didn't have uh, a lot of people of color to look up to as characters, uh, I mean caricature illustrators or cartoonists. When I used to see Franklin in the newspapers, I realized, wow, that's good to see a person of, of color in the Charlie Brown series. Someone asked me, do you think Franklin, having Franklin in the newspapers really helped the black community or the way people look at African-American cartoonists? You know, maybe, I can't really say that because there's so few of us out here doing, doing this. If Charles Schultz never took the risk to put Franklin in his strip, who knows what have, who, who would have made that, that happen? Because one thing about Peanuts, it was already popular. He didn't need to add Franklin, but he, he, I think a lady wrote him a letter, if I remember reading about that a few years ago. And he said, well, I don't want to offend the African-American community. However, he took a chance and it worked out okay. Let's keep this thing moving. Time's a wasting. Franklin wasn't a stereotype. You know, he had a crazy little dude on his head, but he still was pretty straightforward with Charlie Brown. And then when the holidays would come around, you'll see Franklin with the with the bunch, with Peppermint Patty, Lucy, Linus, and them were just interacting. They weren't up to mischief, and most of them weren't. But I enjoyed that. Jump the curtain. 